I'm riding the Eurovelo 3 from Paris to Bordeaux and after a couple of rough days battling the heat I'm finally looking forward to reaching the highlight of the whole trip, the Loire Valley. The Loire by bike trail offers some spectacular and varied stretches along the Loire River with everything from single track sections to easy flat gravel sections. It also goes through some beautiful small towns as well as remarkable architectural wonders. This might be the best day of the whole trip. Here we go! Woo! Good morning and welcome to the third day of my bike tour here in France. And uh, today's plan is to make it to the start of the Loire Valley and that's in a town called Briare. And I think we have about 60 kilometers left until I'm in Briare. I was actually contemplating last night about taking a bit of a shortcut and joining the Loire Valley route down in Orléans. But I figured the Loire Valley was sort of the highlight of this whole trip. So if I had taken that shortcut, I would miss out on, on a big chunk of the Loire Valley. So I'm going down to Briar instead. I'm a bit behind schedule. Seems like I'm about 35 kilometers short of what I'm planning to do. But the good thing about this bikepacking trip here is that there are plenty of fast forward options all along the route. In fact, they even encourage people to use this option and all along the road yesterday I saw signs leading to the nearest train station. So you are able to get on a train and maybe make up some time if you're lacking behind like I am right now. So I figured I would go and do the Loire Valley in its entirety and then maybe take a fast forward during the later days of this bikepacking trip. It's so nice in the morning, I can't even begin to explain. <laughs> Last night we had about 35 degrees Celsius or just below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I believe now in the morning it's, it's around just about 20 degrees. So it's super nice riding now in the morning. So let's make the best of this time here. Well, this is a very popular route, the Eurovelo 3 or Le Scandaberic, and you meet people cycling all along the route every day. Not that many as I would have expected, but still maybe 10, 20 people per day or so. The guys that I just passed here were from Stuttgart in Germany, and they were also on their way to Bordeaux as their end destination, just as I am. So the cycling in the morning here has been totally fantastic. The road surface is newly paved asphalt and uh, it's decent temperature so far. So I'm really able to make some progress without getting too exhausted. <laughs> and there are basically no hills either. I think I've climbed like 40 meters since I left Montagis, but it's very kindly sloping upwards and the only small uphills that you have to climb are when you're going over or past a lock otherwise it's pretty even surface all the way Thank you. 
afternoon and I've just reached the town of Briar and I've stopped here at a supermarket to buy some lunch and just coming out of the air-conditioned supermarket you get met with this wall with super hot air outside we're just entering the hot period of the day between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. and it's gonna be <laughs> but I'm happy that I've been able to to make about 60 kilometers now in the morning here so I'm pretty good time wise and uh, I'm just gonna go and see if I can find a park to eat my lunch in and then continue on on this super hot afternoon here in France. I've enjoyed the lunch now and thrown myself out in this terrible heat again <laughs> but uh, I start with a sort of unusual thing here we have one of uh, France's longest aqueducts where they're actually leading a canal of water over another body of water here by the Lake Loire. No, the, the River Loire. <laughs> you hear me? I'm, the weather is taking a toll on me. So here's the aqueduct and we have the river down below it here. La Loire à Vélo, or the Loire by Bike Trail, is a 900 km long bike trail starting in Nevers and ending out by the Atlantic in saint bevan le -Pin. I'm doing a small section of the bike trail about 250 km from Briar to Tours. So by crossing the Briar Aqueduct, we're officially now in the Loire Valley. And you can see right away that the numbers of bike tours and bike packers are increasing. This is a very popular bike touring destination here in France, if not the most popular. And I'm expecting we're gonna see a lot of more bike tours than I've seen during the first couple of days on this bikepacking trip. I'm also super happy that I got to ride this well shaded bike path here. Now it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon and it's pretty much the warmest period of the day. So it's, uh, it's a bit cooler here in the shade than if I would be out in the blazing sun here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Looks like there's a nuclear power plant way off in the horizon over there. Sometimes it's the small things that makes you go on for another 30 or 4 kilometers. Just being able to find a nice bench like this in sort of the semi-shade. And then you take up your phone and see if there's any drinking water around. And it shows that there's drinking water within 10 or 15 meters away from here and you start to look around and you see the water faucet over there and you just oh thank god cold water <laughs> i fill this up every like hour at least but it gets after a half, about a half hour it gets lukewarm so finding cold fresh water is such a relief Pretty impressive bridge here. I'm guessing this is an old railway bridge that they've turned into a bridge for cyclists and pedestrians. Finally shaded by the trees again. <laughs> so I've gone about 105 kilometers so far this day and uh, I'm gonna start looking for campgrounds when I make a stop up here. Uh, I'm aiming to do about 120 today so make up some distance that I lost in the first couple of days. And uh, it's now about 5 p.m. so I should have plenty of time before the campground starts to close for the evening. So if you think I'm over exaggerating about it being hot today, you can take a look at this chocolate bar that I brought along from back home in Sweden. <laughs> it's pretty hot today. <laughs> And this day has by far been the best of the whole trip so far. It's really varied. You go through not only cycling along the canal, there's also small single track sections through the woods and then you go to small picturesque villages like the one I'm passing right now and you also get to see a bit of the countryside. The second day I'm mainly just saw the canal and the woods surrounding it so this has been a super day here in France
and now a very welcome shower. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, that was so refreshing and nice. I have just uh, located my campground for the evening and it's about 8 kilometers left until I'm there. The time now is 6 p.m. so should be there in pretty decent time. I think this is the campground right over here so I'll check it out. Well, that was quick. Uh, 10 euros for the campground for one night for me and the bike. And the good thing about this campground also is that it was located right on the Eurovelo or Laska and the Brick route. So I didn't have to deviate any, any large stretch of, of road from to get to it. <laughs> and it's also pretty close to the city center here, or the town. So I actually think I'm gonna gonna walk in uh, and see if I can find some some restaurant or maybe a supermarket to buy some food. And I'm just about to head in now and look for a nice spot. There's supposed to be a couple of spots in the shade over here. Uh, so I'm, I'm heading in. Well, all of the chores are done. I've taken a shower, I've pitched my tent and I've even uh, rinsed off my jersey and my my biking shorts <laughs> and it doesn't look very promising that they're gonna be dry for tomorrow i was hoping that the sun would do its job but it just went down here so they're kind of damp still but i have a another shirt that i can use tomorrow i also went over to the supermarket i was actually thinking about eating at a restaurant but it got so late so i figured it would take me forever to, to get ready and I still had to make a supermarket run so I just bought some, some food over here and I was also able to find a half bottle of wine and this fits me a lot better. Yesterday when I, when I bought that white wine I think I only had one glass of it and it feels like kind of a waste to throw three quarters of it away so <laughs> Cheers. Like I told you earlier, this day turned out to be a fantastic day here in France. I've been kind of going on rants for the first two days, but that's usually what bike packing life is. It takes a couple of days to get into the mood and especially with this heat wave that they're having here. And I've just come from cold Sweden. <laughs> Uh, where we're basically going into the fall right now. Uh, it took me a couple of days to acclimatize to this weather. But I also liked with this day that it was really varied. You had everything from cycling along the canal, which I've done now for the past two days, to riding a single track trail inside of a forest and then out in a rural landscape and a lot of things to see along the road. Finally, it, it feels like the, the France that I remember from a couple of years ago when you're passing through these nice small towns, but you still get to make up some distance in the countryside. The first two, or at least the first day was pretty horrible. It was it seemed like Paris never ended. It was just suburb after suburb. And uh, that's not my kind of bike packing. So I'm hoping this will continue in the next couple of days, which I think it will. We're in the Loire Valley after all. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, while you wait for that video, you can watch this video up here from my last tour here in France a couple of years ago. And until next time, have a good one.